here's the deal. I really didn't want this video just to be me just talking all the way through it like the last video was, but it appears we're really bad at filming any of the kind of glue that holds footage together. And we've been filming a load over the last month, but it's all just random stuff shot here and there. There's a few things that I want to cover in this video that haven't been said, so I'm just going to do it and hopefully moving forward, things will get better. I've also got to pack just a ton of trouser orders of the new trousers that we just released. So I'm going to do that at the same time. Hopefully it'll work out and hopefully I'll get this video out ideally today. Just a warning that this video, a bit like the last one, might feel a bit disjointed and probably just have random training clips fitted in wherever. Oh my God. Yeah, you know I was meant to do something really bad and funny and I actually just slid. Yeah, your hands were like skiing across the fucking pool. Ideally, I want these videos to be better than this. And you could argue, well then, why are you releasing it? Why not just wait and make it better? But what's kind of important to us is not letting the footage go stale. What we're hoping to do with these videos in particular is try and show a blend of training from ourselves and the athletes, but also show a lot of what happens in here. We're really excited about growing this brand and we think there's definitely a portion of our audience that are super interested in what we do here and how we're growing the brand who want to see that stuff, whether it's our massive successes or massive failures. We kind of just want to show it all. If we wait too long, some of that footage just becomes irrelevant or stale. So we're just going to drop these and hope the quality improves over time and also the regularity of them. I think something that will definitely be a lot easier is once Keelan and Max finish editing Soul, which is the big like tour film they're working on, I'll leave them to explain the name if they want to at some stage. They can then be a lot more hands-on with the amount of filming that we're doing in-house and also just how much we're training because to be honest, we're really not training that much at the moment and I think we're all missing it. When was the last time you trained? A couple months ago? Yeah. <laughs> We've made a commitment to train at least once outside a week, which doesn't sound like a lot, but somehow Lovely. it's taken a toll. Keelan's injured, Bloggy's injured, and I'm just old and fat. Yes. Yeah. To be fair, that's really clean. Oh my God. Crisps, masks, masks, clasps, clasps, clasps. When you, when you notice it, you can't unnotice it. If you're saying crisps. So oh. Like, yeah, oh, every, oh every crisps. Horrible, isn't it? Masks. You get your masks. <laughs> Regarding Soul, I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I still haven't actually seen that much myself, but I'm so impressed at how well Keelan and Max are editing this. How are you feeling about this year, Keelan, moving forward? Can't wait for this to be done. <laughs> <laughs> it's their first feature length thing that they've ever worked on and they're killing it. The quality is far better than I expected. There's obviously some amazing training in there, but it's just really wholesome. Like every bit I've seen from it so far, I, I love. They edited together a private trailer that anyone who pre-ordered the trousers has already seen, but I might try and sneak a little bit of footage from it into this video. So if that's playing right now, count yourself lucky. Oh my God. Come on, yeah. That's it, Ernie. Oh yeah, go on. Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Something that we finally started on this month is the prototype and development of other factory made garments that we're going to be working on. Since Bloggy came in in, I think it was about late October, 
he's basically just been helping out with the move and, and everything else that went on in the last few months. But finally, he's had time to build out his huge cutting table. He's got his sewing machine set up and he's just constantly working on patterns and developing products. And although the, 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 the final products that he's working on, you guys probably won't see for months and months and months because we still have to source fabrics and go through factories and actually get all of that stuff made. It's amazing just to see the process go from a sketch on a piece of paper to then basically a finished sample in house. Hola. Hola. So Keelan and Bloggy recently set up a Depop. We had planned on doing like a proper sample sale on the website, but we didn't really have quite enough stuff and it was all a bit too varied. Some of it is like old archive pieces, some stuff is samples that never made it to the light of day. So it's definitely worth a look. Hit the link in the description, check it out, keep an eye on it. I just want to take a second to basically say thank you to kind of anyone who's supported the brand, whether it's through purchasing something or even just subscribing on YouTube. It is undoubtedly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And I constantly think about giving it up because it just is, it's, you have really good parts and you have really, really tough parts. And if anyone is sort of pre-ordered the trousers or subscribed to our mailing list or, or just paid attention to the stuff we put out recently about the trousers situation we had, we go through those moments where it's like, oh, this could actually just straight up kill the brand and your back's against the wall and you basically only have one option, which is, well, you've got two options. You either die or you kind of, you fight and you get out. And that's currently what we're doing. So to anyone who is just, just constantly supporting, those who've been with us over the years or those who've just joined us, thank you so much because this is my full-time career and I'm now employing Keelan and Bloggy and, and I, I mean, ultimately, I, I want to pay them far more than they get paid at the moment, but I want to grow that team and I, I, maybe I'll employ you one day. It's, it's, the possibility is there and I just want to continue making this thing bigger and bigger and better. So thank you.